Oh, off. Do you have the octave on? That makes life easier. Go ahead. Hey, there we go. It's, it was the sound. I've always been fascinated by the sound of the organ. Even back to, as a child, I remember going to a revival at First Baptist Church in Danville. They had an old pipe organ that the sound was so fascinating to me that as a seven or eight year old boy after the service, I'm, I'm roaming around opening every door I can find trying to find out where the organ is because I just wanted to see it. There are 1,604 individual handmade pipes within the organ and they range in size from a pencil to 20 feet long. Andrew, uh, pedal Borden 16 low C, please. There you go. The church this came from was quite large. It was a very large space, a very tall room. Um, and the organ was honestly not terribly successful because it was undersized for that space. The organ being the size it is, is ideal for this room. And because it was trying to be a little bigger than it actually was, here it's honestly just perfectly sized and perfectly scaled and a really, really happy uh, marriage to the acoustic of this room. It was built in 1963 by Alien Skinner. All the mechanics were restored, leather replaced. The console was stripped of multiple layers of lead-based white paint and primer. And finally, we were able to see that underneath all that paint, the console is actually very beautiful maple with a mahogany top and a mahogany top for the bench, uh, and then all mahogany interiors. The previous organ in the space was also an alien skinner. That was the instrument that Dr. Hancock learned on. Um, in addition to being very, very fine instruments, uh, I also know there was you know, a fair amount of sentimental value for him in finding the, another alien skinner to return into the space. I know that most of you who knew Dr. Jerry are missing him at this annual event. This purchase and installation of the alien skinner was Dr. Jerry's last gift to the University of Texas that he loved dearly.